should you wireframe your entire app idea before you start building? That's what we're going to talk about today. So we get this question a lot because a lot of people don't really know where to start with their app and their natural instinct is to plan it all out visually. Wireframing is a really common practice, especially with traditional app development. And even when, you know, when people apply to our MVP development program, they often send along these wireframes. And sometimes they are hundreds and hundreds, even thousands of screens showing their app's design, the app they haven't started building yet. But is this the best way to start the development and the creation process of your app. That's what we're going to talk about today. If you're new around here, my name is Kristen and I'm the co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps. We help business owners and industry experts build custom apps to start their app-based businesses or grow their existing businesses all without coding. So a lot of people start their app development journey by wireframing. And usually it's because, you know, they have this big app idea but they don't know how to start building it. They're not really sure where to start. How do you pick that starting point? So they ultimately turn to planning because it's the easiest thing to do when you don't exactly know what to do. And so that's why a lot of people turn to wireframing out their entire full scope app ideas because they just don't really know what else to do. And that makes sense when they have never, or when they don't have experience in this world or in this space, it's, it's kind of like the most obvious next step that you see people do, you hear people, or you hear about people doing. But it's, you know, in my eyes, it's not the, the best way to start when you're building your app, especially when you're building your MVP or your minimum viable product, that first version of your app that you want to start getting feedback on. And that's really what we're talking about. So there are two main problems that I see people run into when they start by wireframing their full scope app idea before they ever start building their app. Now, the first is that designing the the entire scope of your app up front often leads to a lot of wasted time the the reality of app development is that it's going to evolve constantly as you go so that's why we break development up into phases starting with that minimum viable product so as a founder once you have that core of your app that you can start testing you're going to quickly find that all the features you had planned out for the full scope of your app, all those later features, they often change. They evolve. Some of them no longer become relevant once you start getting that critical feedback that you need on your MVP. And so by wireframing your full scope app up front, by designing hundreds, sometimes thousands of pages of your full scope app, what often happens is you, you build out that first version, you start getting feedback, and so much of the scope you designed becomes irrelevant. It, it sits on a shelf, either figuratively or literally, never to be touched again. And, and that is just so much wasted time that we don't want you to go through. And then the second problem that I really see people uh, experiencing when they do this is that it puts their full focus on the design of their app versus the functionality. Now, having a fully functioning app is vital. That's the first step in bringing users on board. If you don't have an app that functions, your front end design does not matter. Now, we constantly try to emphasize that you should focus on functionality first. This is the most important step and the design can come later. Once you have a working product, you know your solution is working, you've tested it 
and it's ready for the next steps. Then you can start evolving the design as you go. But we find that when people start by wireframing everything out, they spend weeks, months, sometimes years coming up with the design of their app up front when that is not the biggest priority. Yes, design is very important, but it's not the most important thing when you're starting to build your app. So that's a problem that we see a lot of people face when they take this first initial step with their apps. So the question is, what should you do instead? Instead of designing all your pages up front, how should you take this first step forward with your app's development? Well, in our, in our own MVP development program, we take our members and clients through a specific process. So instead of having them design out all their pages, we do have them go through the processes and the steps and the features that are involved in their app, focusing on that minimum viable product, that first version, because remember, those later versions will change and evolve. So they go through this process of outlining all the steps involved in their app, all the different processes, because each of your features, right? Each of the features within your app makes up a certain process. What are the steps involved in that process? If a user comes onto or comes into this feature, what are the different steps that they will go through, right? What are the processes involved? Now, instead of designing all these out, we simply write all these out. It's very, very simple, but simplicity is the key to taking action and gaining traction with your app. So we simplify this as much as possible. We still outline it because we don't want to just be winging it as we go, but we don't spend too much time in all the designs up front because it's not efficient and it's really not effective in the long run. So I hope that's helpful for you. If you are taking the first initial steps with your app, make sure to think about this. Have you been in that planning phase for too long just because you're not confident in taking the next step? Well, if you've been in that planning phase for too long, consider taking this different approach so that you can move forward more quickly. And if you need help, creating your MVP or your minimum viable product, and you want to follow a process and a method instead of winging it, reach out and let us know. Start the conversation. You can head to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash apply, and we can chat more. But I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, you know, consider this approach. It's not necessarily the traditional approach, but it's a simplified approach that's going to get you moving forward faster. All right. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.